Well, Scruffy Duffy, welcome back to the studio. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for coming to be in back. again. Oh, you're so what? Listen, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it, sort yeah. of, yeah. Now, um, today what I was going to ask, because I know you do the meal show and you do a lot of stuff like that, what would you say to couples that want to inject a bit of fun into their wedding or make it a bit different? What what kind of ideas would you have for a, well, for a bride or groom? The first thing I would say to a bride and groom, right, yeah, and I always say this, enjoy the experience. Mm. A lot of bride and grooms get really up tense to get... Um, stressed know, out, yeah. Stressed out. And the last thing a bride and groom needs to do is to get on to that Groundhog Day where they're constantly going to every wedding fair, they're constantly looking at every supplier, mm. and the longer that experience goes on, right, yeah, uh, the more frustration it gets. And yeah. if you get frustrated, eventually you get so frustrated that you get to the stage where you'll probably could end up booking the suppliers that you didn't want because yeah. you just book it just to get it booked. Yeah, yeah. So the first thing to do, I always say to bride and groom, I said, um, you know, write down the type of wedding that you'd like to have. Mm. You know, do we want a fun, lively, laid back type of wedding? And once you write down the type of wedding, you're fun, then you go and you find the suppliers that are going to fit into that little box for you. Yeah. And there's so many different suppliers out there at the moment that will fit into that. Oh, yeah. There is. And for every kind of taste. For and every style. type of taste. And, and be different. You know, it doesn't have to be the four course meal. It, it can be a buffet. Hmm. Doesn't have to be the castle. It could be. It could be your local marquee. golf. Club. It could be a marquee. It could be a local golf club done upright. Yeah. Yeah. It depends, right? Yeah. So it's really all down to the to the bride and groom's taste of what they'd like to do. There's so many uh, different ways. I always say to bride and groom, if you're prepared to be different and step outside, you know, from the normal trend of what weddings are supposed to be, hmm. the rewards are massive. Yeah. You can have an amazing day. Yeah. And it doesn't have to break the bank either. No, no, and and it, you see some weddings that are done on a budget, and that's why they don't go with a hotel or a castle venue, and they look and those weddings are amazing, amazing. Yeah. absolutely amazing, because they put a bit of thought into them, they've taken the pressure, pressure and stress off. You know, at the end of the day, really, like what makes or break a, uh, breaks a good wedding is um is the crowd. What's the crowd? It's, it's your family and friends. It's the family and friends. It's the crowd. Um, it's the bride and groom on the day have mm. been relaxed. Yeah, enjoying up to it. Enjoy, enjoy. Listen, wedding is a celebration. Mm. It's a celebration, and you need to go in. If you go in, if you go into the mindset, oh, I'm going to have the best day ever. My family and friends are there, and you're smiling when you I'm see smiling everybody. Smiling, everybody. Uh, like it's a beautiful occasion. Mm. Um, and it's there to be enjoyed and celebrate, you know. And, and so, when it comes to the entertainment, then, um, and they decide, okay, we're going to make our wedding a bit different. But just say they're having it in a in a hotel or a castle. Um, what would you advise them to do? Maybe you know, drinks reception wise, is there anything drinks they could put in there? There's a lot of stuff at the moment. Listen, you can have trad bands. Uh, you can have. Uh, you could do karaoke. Mm-hmm. You know, you could, if you wanted to be different, you could do a sing song during a reception, yeah? Never and seen that now, but yeah, it would and, be a good idea. And have a little mini talent show b- between the family. Yeah. Brilliant idea. Yeah. Because I think pe- some yeah. people overlook the three to five slot. You could have a, a game a game show challenge. Yeah. Who knows the family the best with different families? Yeah. And have a bit of fun and the winner wins a prize a round of drinks at the bar. Yeah, yeah. You could also have... Um, Simple, fun games. If it's a family wedding with kids, mm. there's nothing more enjoyable to see uh, mums and dads playing games with their kids yeah. during that reception area. Whether it's Connect Four, whether it's Jenga, whether it's a uh, little uh, a golfing game with putting and dad losing. Just you know, the kids will remember that. The too. kids will remember yeah. remember that. Yeah, very important. So. With the reception area to do to get your, uh, it'd be lovely to get video messages in there mm. during the reception area of people who are very close to you, grannies, aunts, aunts, uncles, etc. And, and it a all little message of them to say. Actually, the on the video side, the videographers love that kind of stuff. They love it because it because gives them some amazing to shoot. content. It's yeah. amazing content for them. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff you can do during that reception area. You know, if you think outside the box, mm. and you have two to two and a half hours there where it can be very fun. For you could do your speeches there. And they're so relaxed. Everybody's all around the circle. You tap the glass. It's very, it's very laid back. Thanks for coming. We're going to have a great day today. We're all going to go into this room. And the one thing you can do, and the best present you can give us today is hit the dance floor, eat, drink, and be mm. merry. And thanks so much for coming. I mean, how relaxed is that? And that's your speech is done and dusted. It takes all that stress. I've seen that twice. Um, last year where the speeches were done in the bar. Yeah. 
before. Now it wasn't, well, it was closer to maybe half five, just before they called them in. Um, I thought it was a great idea. Brilliant and, idea. Uh, the people that really wanted to hear the speeches all gathered around. Gathered around. If you weren't too pushed, you could stay at the bar having a drink. You could stay at the bar, right, yeah. You know, so, there was no, it wasn't the same level of pressure. Yeah, there was no pressure put on anybody because mm. it was so rela- uh, relaxed and casual. Mm. So that's the reception area. So once again, you think outside the box to be different. It, it, it's not going to cost you a fortune. That's that's not going to cost you big money. Good, that's but, not going to cost you anything. No, and, and you know, if you wanted to add little flavours, you could chat it. Um, I, think, I think the hotels in general can't speak for them, but would like that because the hotels would love it that. means their meal then they can go into the kitchen and go, okay, chef, mm. we're going to be seating the crowd at half five and there's no interruptions. So just keep the meal coming. Just keep the meal coming. Yeah, absolutely. And once again, you have a crowd going in there full of energy, full of buzz, offered, uh, you know, for this joyous occasion. Yeah. yeah. And all because you've thought outside the box to do something yeah. different. In that and the best man isn't yeah. stressed because the speeches the are done. He can yeah. walk in yeah. and enjoy enjoy yeah. his meal. Um, and then during the meal, obviously, the meal you do the show. Yeah. Yeah. I do my MC during the meal show, but you can have a mentalist, you can have a hypnotist, you can have the single waiters. You know, but if you are going to pick something during the meal, pick something that's going to leave a memory, that's going to give energy in the room, that's going to take it. So obviously, you've set the tone with the reception. Mm. You've set the tone of your wedding. You've obviously told people this is the type of wedding we're going to have. So you continue that fo- on through the meal mm. with the supplier that's going to go in there and keep that buzz going for you. And there's loads of little things you do during the meal, right? Yeah. So I think one of the important one factors would be to get stuff that doesn't delay the wedding. Though. Yeah, very important. You know, you've often seen the weddings where they throw a lot of stuff at it, but everything takes away. Yeah, and it ends up the band aren't you, going on yeah, till well, half eleven. You have to be very careful. There, like, there is a balance and act here, right, Jeff? Mm. That you know, I'm a. You'll hear me say this all the time. Less is more. Mm. So, you know, absolutely go in and have fun and try different things, but don't overkill it because otherwise, right, uh, you'll take away from the wedding. Mm. So they'll be, they'll be so distracted having fun and having all that they'll forget why they're there and they're there yeah. to celebrate the day with yourself and your partner. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. be very careful of that as well. And if you are, like, yeah, sometimes you see, um, you see acts coming in maybe before the band and, you know, might get a magician in or something like that. Yeah, but he, which takes, is, which he could take an hour and the band can't set up We've seen this band can't set up. This guy's doing his hour show. Everybody's into it. Yeah. But now the band aren't starting till twenty past half eleven. Yeah. So that you know, so th- that things need to run along. With ten, the day, well, uh, that's that's called bad planning. Yeah. That's bad planning, and uh, that shouldn't happen. Yeah. Uh, and that's where, um, you know, you know the old saying from the Italians. Your people aren't talking to my people. <laughs> so that's what happens there, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's somebody not taking control of of your wedding day. Yeah. Either yeah. be a planner, either be yourself, either be a wedding consultant. But that's uh you know, that's that's just bad planning. That shouldn't happen, so it shouldn't, you know. Yeah. And is there anything else uh you can organise for people as S D entertainment? Is there uh, any other I've just uh, I've just finished a wedding there about three weeks ago where I had the pleasure of organising everything. Mm. So I organised start uh, to finish from start to finish. Yeah, uh, now I'm uh, I'm involved in in a good bit of it myself mm. between the celebrant, the meal show, and of course the full wedding show. But she also asked me to organise uh, events for the day after. She organised me. Uh, I organised a, a photo booth for an LED dance floor. I got in touch with some other top, really top suppliers. So I, I'm really blessed that I've worked with the top suppliers in the business over the last 25 years. I've built up great friendships with these guys. And these guys, uh, because I recommend them, they will uh, also, like they'll give their best price yeah. to the to the bride. Uh, and I'm, I'm really comfortable knowing that I can recommend these suppliers knowing that they're going to get a fantastic product Mm. you know at a really good price that's going to make a big difference to their day so that particular bride you know I'm uh, I'm I'm lucky that I'm Mariner MC Meal and I'm uh, and I'm doing it and uh, the disco after the band there's a, a band yeah. playing at that one I organised a photo booth for her she wanted an LED dance floor I organised a chocolate fountain for her so you're really going into wedding yeah, planning yeah, without, with, without knowing yeah. it yeah and actually or uh, I organised uh, I got in touch with a um a uh, traveling counselor as well for her honeymoon. And the day after, I organized uh, the, a buffet, music, and entertainment. And I, I organized uh, 
outdoor activities for mm. them the day after because these people are all traveling up from Wexford for the wedding. Oh, yeah. So it's the first time I've delved into something like that. Yeah. But it just gave me a little bit of a flavor and a taste of all of the experience and stuff that I've built up over the years. You know, it's something that I'd like to get into a little bit more maybe over the next couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, good luck with that. Thank you very much SD indeed. SD Entertainment and Wedding Planning. And Wedding Planning. Um, well, thanks for coming in, Scruffy. So basically we're saying don't be afraid to inject um, some fun into your oh, day. Be, Think listen, outside the box. Listen, Think outside the box. And don't neglect, I always say this, yeah. even you see it when I'm doing the few videos during the year, um, don't neglect the three to five slot during the day. When people oh, get to your ne- hotel, no, no. It's some, it, it's, it, it is sad to see people just all sitting around having a little cup of tea and, and silence. No, you know, that's absolutely it. don't neglect it. Listen, you know, and as I said, listen, think outside the box, be different, the rewards are massive. And another little tip as well, right, yeah? Your bridesmaids and groomsmen are not there for show for the day. Mm. For the day, use them. Yeah. Get them to interact. Get yeah. them to get stuff for you. Get them to get the crowd out on the floor. Uh, get them, you know, you know, use them to to your advantage right, yeah. Yeah? because they're there to help you. And and so many times the the bridesmaids and groomsmen want to do stuff for you, but the bride and groom don't set out an agenda for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a shame because they cannot. They would love to do stuff for you. Mm. And they'd be the very first ones that would be involved in the fun, the interaction, you yeah. know, at the reception area, during the meal. Uh, and definitely they'd be the, the first ones that would gather a crowd to help your band and your entertainment mm. to get them on the floor and keep them on the floor yeah. during the night. So definitely it's, it's, a, it's, it's something that's overlooked all the time is that bridal party. Yeah. That's great. All right, thanks for the tips, Scruffy. Listen, you're very welcome. It's been great chatting to you. Yeah. Right? It's nice to sit down and talk wedding talk for you because... Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much for everything. I really appreciate the no time problem. and thanks a lot. And, and listen, we'll, uh, the very best luck with your show. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks a million. Again. We'll thank talk you very to you much, soon. My friend. Cheers. Cheers.